Michael Burry has once again surprised everyone by revealing his new contrarian stock market positions. Burry has made huge bets on 12 of the most beaten down stocks in the market. Stakes are high. If Burry's analysis is correct, then these stock bets can make him 7x returns and billions of dollars in the coming 6 to 12 months. One of the 12 stocks is an interesting $1 penny stock which has the potential to reach $4 per share in the next 6 to 12 months. And another stock that Michael Burry bought was also bought by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. So, stay tuned, watch all the way through, and start taking notes if you want to bet big on the stocks that smart money investors are buying. In this video, we're going to discuss why Burry bought these stocks, and, as retail investors, how we can benefit from his stock picks and earn ourselves some handsome money. Burry has a history of making huge, successful bets that go against common wisdom. Burry is known for his contrarian views and investments. He often takes positions that are contrary to prevailing market sentiment, and he is not afraid to go against the crowd. Contrarian investing is a strategy that involves taking positions that go against the prevailing market trends or sentiment. The basic idea is that markets tend to exhibit herding behavior, where investors tend to follow each other driven by fear and greed, leading to periods of over- or underpricing of assets. Contrarian investors take advantage of these market inefficiencies by buying assets that are currently out of favor or selling assets that are currently popular. And Michael Burry's not alone in following the contrarian investment strategy. Warren Buffett is also a big advocate of this strategy. In fact, Warren Buffett famously said, and I'm quoting, Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. One of the key advantages of contrarian investing is that it can present opportunities to purchase assets at low prices during market panics. When investors panic and sell their assets, prices can become artificially depressed, creating opportunities for investors to buy quality assets at a discount. For example, during the 2008 financial crisis, many high-quality companies saw their stock prices drop to levels that were significantly lower than their intrinsic value. Contrarian investors who had the courage to buy during this period were rewarded handsomely over the following years. Now, let's discuss the beaten down stock that Michael Burry's buying. And the number one stock he has invested the most in is New York Community Bank Corp, ticker symbol NYCB. Michael Burry bought 850,000 shares of NYCB. Most likely, Burry bought this stock during the sudden panic selling period of March 10th to March 17th at the average price of approximately $6.96 per share. The stock is up 47% since then, and still offers a handsome dividend yield of 6.5%. NYCB trades at a discount of 24.88% to its book value. And despite the recent appreciation, there is still huge room for growth. All the fundamentals are solid, and the stock is rated a strong buy on the basis of its quantitative score. On the basis of valuation, NYCB stock is rated A grade, which is indicative of strong value proposition at current rates. As compared to the last three month period, growth prospects, profitability, price momentum, and positive analyst opinions have increased. After the Michael Burry seal of approval, and keeping in mind the track record of Michael Burry and the current fundamentals of the stock, I maintain a bullish stance on NYCB and anticipate upward movement in its share price. NYCB currently trades at a discount of 25% to its book value and offers a dividend yield of 6%. Despite the tough circumstances, the bank has exhibited robust performance and exhibits favorable prospects moving forward. Based on my analysis, I forecast that NYCB shares will narrow the disparity between their current valuation and book value throughout 2023, potentially providing a further share price gain ranging from 25 to 40 percent. So, New York Community Bank Corp is an interesting choice with handsome upside potential. Next on the list is The Real Real Inc., ticker symbol REAL. It is currently trading down 75% from its 12-month high of $4.07. As per the rating summary, Real is rated buy based on analyst rating and sell on the basis of quantitative score. 
This disparity means that analysts are bullish on the future prospects of the company, whereas the current books of the company are poor. So let's dig deep into why Michael Burry bought these stocks, and what's the potential in it to forex your money. Starting with learning what Real is. Real operates an online marketplace for resale luxury goods in the United States. It offers various product categories, including women's fashion, men's fashion, jewelry, and watches. Real has just hired a new CEO, and appears to be changing its focus to higher margin consignment activity. Based on a market research report published in 2022 by Grandview Research, the online apparel sales industry was valued at approximately $500 billion in 2021. And extrapolating to 2023, the industry has grown to $600 billion plus. It is projected that the industry will experience significant growth and reach an estimated value of $1.16 trillion by the year 2030. If this growth is realized, then it would represent a compound annual growth rate, or CAGR, of 8.6% from 2022 to 2030. Looking at the company financials, it can be said that the margins are fluctuating, but showing an overall increasing trend from the last three years. Whereas selling and administration expenses are showing a continuous downward trend, which is a very good sign. As per the latest updates in Q1, the CEO is very optimistic for the transition of the company. The CEO said specifically, quote, We made progress on minimizing lower value consigned items. As a result of these actions, we expanded our gross margin in the first quarter, and we were able to deliver a high take rate, more gross profit dollars, and improved profitability. A potential upside to the stock could include continued progress in its consignment business, improving its margins in the process. If these things happen, well, then real stock can re-rate to much higher multiples. And that's the only reason I think Michael Burry actually bought this stock. Next on our list is Capital One Financial Corporation, ticker symbol COF. Michael Burry bought 75,000 shares of this stock, whereas the legend Warren Buffett bought 9.92 million shares of Capital One Financial Corporation, worth almost $1 billion. As per the rating summary, Core One Financial is rated hold on the basis of analyst opinion and quantitative scores. According to my analysis, COF stock is by the dip opportunity as its financial health is intact and it can reach back into its pre-crash stock price of 120. This represents an upside potential of 30% from its current price level. In contrast to other banks, deposits held by Capital One Financial are increasing every month. Capital One Financial has one of the best capital ratios in the U.S. financial system with a Tier 1 capital ratio of 12.5 when adjusted for unrealized losses in a bank's securities portfolio. Unrealized losses on U.S. Treasuries and mortgage-backed securities were the main reason for Silicon Valley Bank's failure on March 9, 2023. Tier 1 ratios are measures of financial resilience, and since all banks must report them, it is easy for analysts and investors to compare a bank's relative capital strength. So, Capital One Financial is a safe and sound bank paying regular dividends, and its stock just got hit by panic selling. A strong recovery is expected as interest rates are expected to come down in the last quarter of this year. So buy this stock if you believe in the wisdom of Michael Burry and Warren Buffett. The next stock that Michael Burry bought in this dip is PacWest Bank Corp ticker symbol PACW. PacWest is down 85% from its 12-month high of $32.68. Wall Street analysts rate this stock as buy, whereas quantitative score rates are hold. But one thing is very surprising. At a current price of near 5, PacWest stock is rated A plus for its valuation. I think the entry point this stock is offering is making the investment very attractive. Talking about the financials, PacWest's latest results were above expectations as deposits stabilized in March, and then grew by $700 million in April. Another plus is that total insured deposits increased from 48% to 71%. About $8.3 billion is uninsured. And with readily available liquidity of $12.4 billion, the coverage ratio is more than adequate. PacWest will reduce its assets to $35 billion which is expected to bring its set one capital ratio above 
but there still are significant risks associated with this stock. The current stock price of five and the market cap of just half a billion dollars and a short interest rate of 17%, well, they don't all paint a rosy picture. A lot of investors are betting big on the fall of PacWest. Maybe Burry bought this stock because of improving deposits and guarantees by the FDIC to honor customer deposits. If there are no more bank runs and interest rates start to decline, well then regional bank stocks can provide handsome returns, even if their prices just return to 50% of their pre-panic selling levels. So in short, I believe that Michael Burry is confident about the recovery of the banking sector as interest rates have peaked. Burry bought in total 12 stocks, but I've discussed only 4 stocks with the potential to surprise investors with upsides in the coming months. The rest of the stocks I'm going to try to cover in my next videos. So until we get to them, take care. Time for the important announcement. Now you can join our community of 5,000 plus members and active stock market investors and receive the latest timely stock market and economy related updates like what stocks to buy and what stocks to ignore or sell to save your portfolios. Economy and stock market related commentary and alerts are shared regularly on a weekly basis. You can also chat with me during market hours and ask me any questions. Join our community on Discord through Patreon. Upon becoming a member, you'll be able to enjoy some great perks. For example, you'll be able to receive proper buying and selling alerts for a wide range of potential stocks. We'll also share tips and alerts for option trading. You'll receive a weekly guide for stocks performance and updates with technical analysis. You'll be able to chat with over 5,000 like-minded members all the time. And you'll also be able to chat with me during market hours. I'd be delighted if you could join us. The link to join is given in the description below. Thanks, and see you on the other side.